down. This is extremely low. These these baskets. Yeah, it's, have probably, it's probably too far, Brendan. When I say extremely, when I say more external, I just mean it. Just your 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 cueing needs to be more external, not in not uh -huh. internal. So you're not thinking about how you're making the movement. Uh huh. So if you could br you could bring that alignment stick, you could bring that closer to you, and use something like three iron or a four iron. <laughs> Yeah, this is an eight iron, so I'll switch to a four iron. And then the task is to is to hit the ball, and you could say you can change. You can you could, yeah, I can see it now. So you could say we want to hit the ball maybe I don't know twenty twenty yards. It's like a just a, a little pitch, a little chip almost, so much much shorter swing, and it's got a it's got a launch and it's got to fly underneath that. It's got to fly beneath. Okay, so it did pretty good because I yeah that I was hit awesome. it. that was also an attempt. But I, I as usual when I get a golf lesson, so you told me to fly at twenty yards. I flew at about eighty. <laughs> so all right, just twenty yards underneath this stick here. Yeah. And so now we've got a challenge point that is is quite high. We've got failure, but we've got feedback. So what you're doing uh -huh. is in the ball too much now this is the coach's job to start to shift attention and start to so because the other thing and i'm sure you would get to, to this but the other thing that i've noticed with this leading through impact that's so important that like basically i would say 99 percent of the players in the hall of fame are, are doing they're not like this at impact you know there's yeah. some degree of this anyway so i've noticed that Right up to about 80% swing, like, I have it pretty good. Yeah. So, like, in, in chips, pitches, even in, in like, even in, like, like, uh, like three-quarter knockdowns, I have it pretty good. It's when I'm, like, trying to hit it, you know, pretty full. Yeah. That's yeah. when it starts to get the, – the, uh, the cart starts to go in front of the horse, so to speak. So, what you could do, if you've got a towel, you could play, say – could place a, you can place a towel underneath the, the driving range mat so you can slope the mat. So you've got a mat mm -hmm. that's sloping to down, downhill, downhill slope. So you're, you're sloping down towards something under there. <laughs> that's extreme. It's a little big, but we get the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So but no, at least I don't, that's going to mess up my, my – that'll get my feet going I don't, a little I don't, bit. I don't know if the ball's going to stay on that slope, but – um, well, the, the ball will be on the flat, but I'll, I'll be on the slope. But I, okay, so I'm on this slope. Yeah, and I'd also put the ball on the slope, so I'd have the ball on the slope too. So, so there's a, there's a. Um, there's a downward feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can do that. Hold on, this will work. All right, so that's a, a near perfect slope there down. Yeah, that's what awesome. yeah, it's and, and now, and so we're starting off with a very low lofted club, which is, it's going to be pretty easy to hit the ball underneath. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And then just so. little chips, just little chip shots to start with, to just little, just feeling the ball, just getting the strike. So... That wasn't a chip shot, but that was, that was really good. But I I always do that. All right, yeah. Let me let me back off. That's this. that's fine. So yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna. Not as good. That's perfect. So we're starting to we're starting to create movement. Kind of that desirable kind of impact. In a, it's yeah. dynamic, but it's in re, it's in response to the the demands of this task. So we've changed so like the a, a, con, a constraint led approach. So like we we got the constraint here, and then I'm just trying to figure out how can I make solid contact. Yeah. On the down slope. And and so what we also do then is kind of so what I do is maybe increase the loft of the golf club slightly. So now. We might go to a, I don't know, six iron. Yeah, I got that. Six iron, all right. Yeah. 
So now a bit more laugh. So this requires more adaptation. Really nice. That's awesome. Slightly heavy, but it, like yeah, it, it great just, move. Good. So we, what you're starting to do now is you're starting to yeah, and you can play around with the slope. Can play around with. Then I would go ball to position uh, or... yeah, ball position. We change, move the ball back. I mean, what I'd also do, yeah, is um, a few practice swings with uh, if you kind of shift shift an imaginary ball position and just move the ball further forward in the stance. So now oh, you've got okay. a gotcha. in the stance, and now you've got to hit it down underneath. So, so now I'm like scuffing the ground like way out here. Yeah, you're going to start to have to move. And you could, I'd do this probably off a level lie though, Brendan, to be honest. I'd probably use a level lie so you yeah. could move. So, and then you would, you would be scuffing the ground kind of in line with the, that's it. But feel, but trying to play the draw swing. So trying to play a draw shot with it. So, okay. So, so those now, are kind of ca counter, counter uh, indicated things like the super forward ball position, but then play a draw. Yeah. Shot. Now, so it's real. Now you're going to, now you're going to have to start to shift the body in a certain way. You're going to have to shift the shift quite excessively to move the low point to get the strike. Feels pretty good. Yeah, and so you're starting to starting to move differently in relation to the that those environmental constraints, and also what you're trying to achieve here. You're trying to yeah, we're trying to visualize if you like that ball fly and then we need to lengthen the swing yeah now what i might do is i might lift the bar slightly because as you start to increase the club head speed you're probably going to hit increase probably the launch and so you oh, might so we're still, I, I took the bar away we're still doing this trying to get it under the bar yeah i might raise the bar when you start to increase the swing we might raise the bar a little bit but oh so good now what I'd also do, I do some one, I'd, 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 uh, I'd do some one-handed swings, some right-handed swings. No, Healy. Cool. Okay. And then what we do now is, we well, what I would do from here is I'd go back to a level lie. So if we just pull everything out of the range, Matt. Sorry, Brendan. No, it's fine. Whoops. Yeah, getting you to, to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of it, right? Muscle building. Okay. All right, so now that everything's out. Okay, yeah. so now just one-handed, just practice uh -huh. swings. But what I want you to do is I want you to start with the golf club opposite your kind of left foot. Mm -hmm. So no ball, practice, practice, but the hands should be in the middle at the north. So in the middle, yeah. And now you're going to drag the golf club round. Yeah. And then you're going to swing it down and through without stopping. So it's a drag and lag. So drag. Yeah, that's it. Cool. So you start to feel how the body's swinging the golf club and how you're now. You're, you're really, you're literally. There you go. You're getting a sense of the lag and how you're either retaining or releasing or yep. it's an exaggerated feel. And then you would hit shots like this with probably with two hands. So I get people to chip like this with maybe a pitching wedge or something, but but you can do it with you can do it with a full swing, just not hitting balls, just practice first and cool. Yeah, okay. and then go to a. You could you could go with the ball if you like. I'd move the ball into maybe a, a more central position. Maybe that's it. But you're gonna you're gonna yeah you're gonna drag from there and then you're gonna hit it underneath. Just only a half three quarter swing. Pretty good. I broke my stick, but that's okay. Oh, have you? Sorry. Well, I mean that, that shows that the stick's only like a foot off the ground, so that shows that I did it pretty good because I was a foot off the ground with it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty pure. Low fade. 
and then address the ball normally and just see how see how that feels with it from a normal position. They're really solid. Right. You curve it back. Oh, it's just it's so perfect. So you could use an alignment stick vertically and just move and have maybe two alignment sticks. Right. And then, and then you can put them fairly close together. So the, the challenge point's quite high there. So they've got to hit start it between the two alignment sticks and then and then play the draw or fade. So um, this is going to be challenging, this one. <laughs> so this will be, be forward. <laughs> Ball position, trying to hit a draw. <laughs> yeah, this is uh... <laughs> so what? Hit it really good, but but about about one and a half stories too high. So it's difficult with the impact bag thing. You, the, the little balance discs are perfect, but now I just do. Yeah, it I, I have I have those as well, but uh, yeah, I'll save that for another time. No problem. I'd just go to a flat lie, just normal lie, and just now try and... Like, Should I switch clubs or, or keep the now, same club? You can stay with that club, but just go to something now that... Just go to a position now that feels the most comfortable for you. Where does the ball feel the best place? Where does the weight feel in the best place? So. Yeah, that feels good. That's a great shot. Probably, I know that just from the height of it, that I probably had the the uh, water skier ahead of the boat a little bit, so to speak, yeah. there, you yeah. know? So so what can, what do I have to add to, like, because that all feels real comfortable. What do I have to add to it to get that quite down just a little bit? Like, I don't want to start getting into explicit stuff, right, like, as far as, like, like hold through this way or that way, you know? Oh, like, no, so, no, no, no. So what should I be thinking? So we need to, well, we need to make this, the, the, uh, the constraints more extreme to start with um but we don't want to change so it's more about the external the environmental constraints yeah that was a lot better and all i did was just imagine that that little stick there trying to get under it so it wasn't like a parts and pieces solution it was more of just like a visualization thing right yeah yeah, yeah exactly and adju adjusting the setup to the requirements of the shot so visualizing the launch obviously that's going to affect all the the tilts and things like this and but i mean hitting balls off one leg is a good idea it is um i mean you can um you can still use the other leg for support on the t on the tiptoe um now okay So no, I can definitely feel my like my brain sweating to try to figure out these different shots. Definitely with the right leg. So if you try the right leg again with the left leg on his tiptoe there, just on the tiptoe, just for support there. But and to get that nine iron to go low now, you're gonna. That's when you start to really you have to work hard. Yeah, that wasn't low. Somewhat solid, but not low. Uh, let me try that again. All right. Uh, how's that ball position look? All right. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's good. Yeah, that was better. And then you move to two feet. Also, you need to experience what it is like to go slightly higher. And, and also, we need to know what it's like with when there's more release. We need to, so we, it's not, we're not just working on this. Oh, uh, right. Kind of, we need to vary the amount of, um, amount of release. So. Okay, so now I'll try to hit like a, and Poulter kind of high one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sky high. And then we can start to move to kind of fading the ball too. So trying to engulf in terms, kind of holding this, holding the face, especially with quite a, quite a lot of... I mean, we may drop the loft, but we can stick with nine iron and just try and hit low cuts. That was good, but this this start line was not good. Oh my my stick got launched out there somehow. And then you can then you can start to change the ground again and go to a a downhill slope, hitting trying to hit low cuts, and that's yeah that's severe. Like pursed lips, like a pressure valve. Yeah, that was that was a great shot. 
So there's some, now you've got some kind of a other attachment to this that is a kind of a measuring gauge, a kind of a 